Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the beautiful but sometimes tricky world of traveling in the Philippines. It's no secret that this country is absolutely stunning, but it's also important to stay vigilant against common travel scams. First up, we've got the two friendly strangers scam. Filipinos are friendly, but watch out for strangers who seem overly nice, especially in tourist spots. Next, the overbooked or closed hotel scam. Taxi drivers might claim your hotel is full or closed, then take you to a more expensive one where they get a commission. Then the Kalesa scam. Some carriage drivers in Manila might trick you with hidden fees or inflated prices. And don't forget about the Budal Budal gang scam. They'll lure you into fake get-rich-quick schemes and leave you with worthless items. Moving on, be cautious of pickpocketing and bag snatching in crowded tourist areas. Keep your belongings secure and stay alert. Also beware of the planted drug scam. Scammers may try to sneak drugs into your luggage or offer flower garlands laced with drugs. And be careful when booking accommodations. Some places may look great in ads but disappoint in reality. Watch out for currency exchange scams too. Use trusted places like banks or official exchanges. Street money changers might cheat you, so it's best to avoid them. Stick to official places and always count your money. Fake tour agencies might offer cheap deals, but they could end up costing you more. Always research before booking. Be cautious of food and drinks with added substances, as they could lead to theft or other problems. And be wary of unofficial tourist information spots and police officers. Stick to real info centers and ask for ID from anyone claiming to be an officer. Also, the gem and jewelry scam. Some stores sell fake gems at high prices, so buy from trusted places and do your research. We have also the street vendor manipulation scam. When you're shopping in markets, some vendors might use pushy tactics to pressure you into buying or inflate prices. Remember to stay polite but firm, and don't hesitate to walk away if you're not comfortable. Next, we've got the street drug dealers scam. Beware of dealers offering cheap and exotic substances in tourist areas. These drugs could be low quality or even dangerous, so it's best to stick to licensed establishments and know the regulations. Moving on, let's talk about the SIM card scam. Buying a local SIM card is essential for staying connected, but some sellers might overcharge or provide cards that don't work properly. Always purchase your SIM card from official retail outlets or established mobile network shops. Now onto the ATM scams. Be cautious of strangers offering to help you at ATMs as they might be trying to skim your card and steal your PIN. Always shield the number pad while entering your PIN and use ATMs in well-lit secure locations. And let's not forget about the bar friends scam. Be careful of people inviting you for drinks and then surprising you with a high bill. Stick to bars you know, check the prices, and avoid situations that seem too good to be true. Another common scam is the closed scam. Someone might tell you that an attraction is closed and then guide you to a different place where they pressure you to buy something expensive. Always check the opening hours yourself and don't fall for this trick. Moving on, we have the bird poop scam. Scammers might throw a white substance on you to distract you while they pickpocket you. Politely decline assistance from strangers and keep your belongings secure. Next, we've got the credit card swap scam. Be cautious of dishonest employees at restaurants who might try to clone your credit card information. Always check that the returned card is yours before leaving. Also be careful as the double charge card scam could occur. Some servers might charge your credit card twice for the same order. To protect yourself, consider paying in cash or, if using a card, accompany the server to the payment terminal to ensure a single and accurate transaction. And let's not forget about the local woman's flirtatious scam. If someone seems too friendly, be cautious. They might disappear after a fun night, leaving you with a hefty bill. Now, onto the taxi scam. Some drivers might try to overcharge you or take longer routes to increase the fare. Always ask the driver to turn on the meter and plan your route beforehand. And finally, we have the beach theft scams. Scammers might target tourists by stealing unattended valuables on the beach. Always keep an eye on your belongings and consider using lockers or asking someone reliable to watch over them. So you've learned about some of the common scams in the Philippines, but don't let that deter you from exploring this beautiful country. Let's start with the top destinations. Puerto Princesa Underground River. White Beach. Chocolate Hills Natural Monument. Kayangan Lake. 
Yapak Beach, Puka Shell Beach, Nakpan Beach, Big Lagoon, Fort Santiago, Kawasan Falls, Basilica del Santo Nino. Banaue Rice Terraces. Mayan Volcano. Rizal Park. Batad Rice Terraces. Twin Lagoon. Tumelog Falls. Cale Criso Logo. Honda Bay. Cambugahay Falls. Bonifacio Global City and many more. Now let's talk about how to travel safely in the Philippines. Get a local SIM card. Stay connected with a local SIM card for maps, info, and emergencies. Plan ahead. Research your destination, local rules, and create a solid plan. Verify info. Trust official sources and guides for accurate information. Learn the local rules. Understand local customs and laws to avoid scams. Learn basic local language. Connect with locals and signal that you're not an easy target. Use trusted transportation apps. Stick to reputable ride-sharing services. Keep valuables secure. Protect your belongings and important documents. Be sure before drinking or smoking. Respect local regulations and avoid street sellers. Maintain a low profile. Blend in and avoid standing out. Use trusted services. Book hotels, tours, and transportation with reputable providers. Use trusted currency exchange. Exchange money at official places. Be wary of tempting offers. Don't fall for too good to be true deals. Share your itinerary. Keep someone informed about your travel plans. Negotiate wisely. Be respectful but firm while bargaining. Stay updated. Stay informed about local scams and tips from other travelers. Report suspected scams. Notify authorities if you encounter suspicious activities. So there you have it, folks. With these tips and destinations in mind, you're all set to have a safe and unforgettable journey in the Philippines. Don't forget to check out our article on didashreviews.com for more detail on travel scams in the Philippines, and also for more tips and tricks for traveling safely in the Philippines. Find link in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.